Hi guys, I have something different from my regular movie reviews for you today. I've been experimenting with telling scary stories. So today I have a new scary story that I've written just for you. But before I continue, I have to tell you something important. I've recently decided to switch to making videos and streaming content full time. But that means I have no money, which makes me very sad. But you can help by smashing that like button. And before we continue, make sure you hit subscribe. and smash the bell icon now onwards so this happened to me when i was in uh, college in my first year and uh, i just started college this was in pune in india and i was in my uh, first year we didn't have college hostels so i had to find a place to stay i didn't want to spend too much so we found a pg a pg in case you don't know it's like a it's like renting a house but without many of the freedoms that come with your own house like we wouldn't be allowed to bring girls over we would have to be fairly reasonable with our friends visiting and we had to share a small fairly small living space between four of us now the way the house was built is it was on the first floor above another house but the two houses weren't connected so you would have to take the stairs and you would enter from a small door which was on the left as soon as you entered on the left was the hall where two of my flatmates stayed and my room was on the other half of the hall it was separated by a very thin wooden partition and a door as soon as you entered the door on the right was the bathroom the toilet and a wash basin but it was separated by another wall and straight ahead past the kitchen our fourth roommate stayed it was a pretty quiet setup and none of us really partied much or did anything that made a lot of noise and things were fairly peaceful for the first couple of months I just joined college. I was quite caught up with meeting new people, attending classes and doing that whole thing. But I used to have very frequent nightmares. Like once I dreamed that a group of people that looked like zombies were chasing me, and then I had a dream about random little girl ghosts. I basically wrote them off thinking it was just because I was in a new city and I was uncomfortable. So whatever. A few months go by like this quite uneventfully. So one night, I remember it was in August. around 2 o'clock i heard my roommate banging on the door uh, the wooden partition that was my door he was knocking on it and saying uh, do wish me wake up listen wake up quickly uh, uh, are you up and this was well before we had cell phones and unlimited calling uh, so it took me a while but i woke up and he was like uh um why you in the toilet some time ago like did you leave the water running in the bathroom I was like no and then he called me outside and he's like I heard water like splashing water like someone is splashing water or like playing with it like like running water I was like dude seriously you woke me up in the middle of the night for this and then he said uh, no just dude please just come out and listen understandably I was pissed off because it was 2 in the morning and I had a class the next day but I was like you know what fine whatever I'll come out and I came out Uh, and he was right i could hear water splashing i thought maybe water was running outside or like somewhere outside the house someone had left a tap on or like a motor was leaking but it didn't sound like water running you know the difference right it sounded like water splashing and he was like dude i went and checked it's not coming from outside it's coming from the bathroom i was like just go look what what is wrong with you why the hell did you wake me up for this I mean sorry man but you need to just go check so he said obviously i went and looked but there's nothing there and at this point i can clearly hear the splashing sound not just him i told him fine let's just go look when i went and checked there was nothing there there was nothing no sound nothing whatsoever which was weird i came back out and i was like just okay chill man it's no big deal just try to get some sleep and I went back to my room and I had literally just closed my door when the splashing sound started again. It was really weird but I I thought whatever and I ignored it because I thought it will be some random noise if only it had stopped that night. It didn't stop after that. Every couple of days around 1:35 to 2 in the night We would hear water splashing. 
I legitimately thought the neighbors had forgotten a tap or a tank was overflowing, but I checked in the morning and there wouldn't be any. There's no water spilled outside. And uh, after a few days of this, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. There's no point worrying. It it is just water. But it was really, really loud. And whenever we would go and check, there wouldn't be any noise or any water leaking anywhere. This went on for a few more weeks, and I was like, "Dude, we need to tell the landlord because there might be some like construction issue, and it could come back to bite us in the ass later." So we walked over to the place that my landlord lived in. He lived right across the road. So I told him, um, "Uncle, there's some pani ka sound like in the night. There's some, there's some water running sound or like splashing sound." I think that we our motor might be leaking or something. He said there's no chance that could be happening. The water doesn't even come at night; it comes during the day. So then we told him it was really disturbing our sleep because it was loud, and it wasn't like running water. It was really loud. It was like, uh, I mean, you. It sounded like someone was splashing around in water. He looked a little uncomfortable, but we kept pushing him because we were like, we have to live here. like if something is wrong please tell us honestly i regret asking him now so he told us before you guys moved in here like a good 4 years ago there was this woman who lived here with her husband and her daughter her marriage was already pretty bad and we her husband was fairly abusive and we could hear uh, the fights and the arguments or whatever but after she gave birth to the daughter it became much worse he used to beat her he used to come home drunk and one day he just vanished like he just left we don't know where he went she didn't know where he went and she kind of went a little bit mad she used to stare at people walking by the house like she was really angry uh, like she looked incredibly angry all the time her daughter was she was a tiny little cute little girl very adorable very lovable but this woman was handling everything alone and uh, we think it took a toll on her mental health so one day in the end of july on uh, 28th july in fact she killed her daughter she killed her daughter and then she killed herself in the house i was like dude what the fuck why didn't you tell us this earlier like before we moved in um uh, he was like Yeah, it happened a long time ago. So we we just wanted to move on and forget about it. So I was like, what does this have to do with the water, man? So he said, she drowned her daughter in a bucket in the bathroom. She held her head under water until she stopped moving and she splashed around a lot before she died. That's what the cops told us. and then she took her own life by slitting her wrists in the bathroom uh, and obviously we didn't know how to react we moved out a few months later the noises didn't stop we got really freaked out i've never ever looked back at that place unless someone asks me if i've ever had a scary experience but to this day I still get freaked out if I hear water running in the night.